Today we're in Claremont and behind us is Lake Ridge Winery. Never been here before. We've been wanting to film some wineries. We've had some suggestions for wineries. I think this one was actually suggested, but it is a very large winery. Not sure if you can film or not. I wouldn't see why not, but we're gonna go see if we can film what this experience is like at this winery. Let's go check it out. And Lake Ridge Winery is located off of US 27, pulling in here. Seems to be a popular place. Guest parking to the left. We're just gonna go in, see what this experience is like. Typically, um, I mean, we've been to a couple of wineries and typically you go in, they give you samples of the different wines. You get to look around. Sometimes they give you a tour of it. Uh, I have no idea. Never been here before. I've seen it plenty of times passing by, but we thought, what the heck, we're in the area. Let's stop by. It does seem really busy. It's like a pretty popular spot. Winery hours, Monday through Saturday, 10 to five. Sunday, 11 to five, right this way. Free wine tasting. It says the entrance is through here. All right, a um, lot going on in here. So as you enter here, you're uh, in their gift shop and there's a lot going on. Um, so that door over there is where we just came in. We will kind of dig through this gift shop here in just a second, but it says self-guided tours in theater upstairs. So we will be going upstairs and then right around the corner here, restrooms. Like I said, we will check out the little gift shop here in just a second. We'll head upstairs and check out the free samples first. Weekends at the winery, free admission Saturday and Sundays, noon to four. Outdoor wine bar, food court, live music, free tours, and wine tasting. All right, let's go up the stairs. They do have this loyalty rewards program. Oh, newspaper articles. Upstairs wine bar open today, 10 to four. Whoa. History Lake Ridge Winery. It says the walking tour is this way. So this is the winery tour. Walk right through here. So this is the theater room where you can um, sit in here and learn more about it with an informational video over there. It's pretty cool. They took the same picture in all the seasons. So this one's winter, that one's spring, summer, fall. And this one where you had the view across the top of this hill. Uh, not only was it something that we thought would be good for growing grapes, but it also was a, a nice, pleasant place to work too. Heading to the, Heading to the viewing deck. Welcome to the wine cellar. At capacity, hold over 488,000 gallons of wine. That's pretty cool. Now this is the self-guided tour today, so winery tour path, please continue this way. This is what this area looks like. So that was the theater right through there that you could watch the video on. Next, you go out that door. Oh, you can actually smell like some kind of fruity smell walking to her that way. Oh, wow, look at the view. Great view over there. Then this way, spots you can sit at. Did you know Interesting. Walking tour and tasting up here to the left. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, look at all those grapes. 
Is that the, that's the live music. Did you know that down here? Oh, a few years. In the background, that's the live music they have out here today. Yeah, it's looking like the little entertainment stuff's out that way. Walking tour, wine tasting through these doors. Then we go through here. Here's the warehouse. Jeez. It produces over 1.7 million bottles of wine per year. A little bit about their bottling. And then after that, you head into here. Oh, the tasting must be downstairs. Up here is just a uh, premium tastings and a wine bar. So where you actually just want to drink like the wine. Downstairs must be the free tasting. So free wine tasting right through here. All right, this is where we're at now. This is our first little table we come to. Summer vibes. <laughs> Here's a look at the wine list. And you come to this first one. Yeah. Oh, wow. One day you'll think 30 was a baby. Sort of slight. All right, so you just set your cup down here. And they fill it up. I don't know if there's any order to this. We're just going there. Oh, sorry, Yeah, do you like sweet? Yeah, that's better than the first one. Yeah, that one was better than the first one. So you just kind of work your way through the little tour here. That's where we were earlier. Now we're over here to semi-sweet. We definitely like sweet. That's right. Thank you. That's my favorite so far. That one's really good. Obviously, we're working our way towards sweet. Yeah, yeah sweet's what we're right spot, looking for here. Sweet white. It's called Southern White. Awesome. Light body sweet wine made with You got some grapes. creme brulee in that picture there, yeah, too. All right. Nice and yummy, huh? Oh, yeah. This is sweet, light wine. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's really good. That's the best one. Number one bestseller in the white wines. And then we have another sweet, but this one's the red. Oh yeah, cool. This one's over 40% of their sales. There we go. Oh, that one's good too. Oh, that one's good. <laughs> All right, so it's between that red and white. Comment below, are you a red or white wine lover? Now, I don't necessarily care if it's red or white. I typically go with more of a red. I just care if it's sweet or not. I don't do very well with dry wines, but um, I'm a sweet fan. And that Southern White and Southern Red, those are top-notch wines for me. Might be a little too hard to um, film all this stuff, but they just have a wide variety of things. These cool wine glasses, glassware. That's neat. Over here we have some preserves and some jelly. Yum. Over here we do have some uh, shirts, hats, different things like that. I wonder if they've got a sticker. I'll have to look and see if they've got stickers. It'd be fun to get a sticker from here, but uh, yeah, that wine tasting was was fun to do. Raspberry syrup. Some more t-shirts. <laughs> Harvest Great Stomp t-shirts. And then over here they do have different wines. But they've got some wine recipes. Oh, there's that Southern Red. That was good. And then on the other side, Southern White. Yeah, that's really good. That was that was really good. 
There you go. No more wine headaches. Over here, he's got some peach bellini. Here's their awards. That's cool. Sure. You're going to get a headache thing? See if it works. Yeah. You like the, the red, right? Over the... I did, yes. Over the white? They were pretty... The no, I'm more of a red person, but they were pretty close. They were like really, really close. And that sunshine, whatever it was, the... Whatever it was, the sunshine <laughs> one. I don't remember the... Sun... Sun blush? That was good. They do have the San Sebastian Winery from St. Augustine, which we will have to do a tour of sometime, but it's a lighthouse bottle. Southern Red is what we're going to go with. I think he's doing samples. Wine Arita. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, this is a peach Bellini. Uh, where's... Oh, this here? Yeah. It's made with our sun... Oh. Oh. And our blender, all you need is ice. That's it. It's like a little slushy. Oh man, that's really good. Wow. Oh, there's blueberry down there too. That's stinking good. That's so good. I love peach though. So you do blueberry pomegranate with the uh, um, southern red, strawberry mango. Wow, that's good. They do have some specials over here as well. That peach Bellini was one of the top drinks I've ever had. That was so good. Ended up going with a little mixture here. I mean, that was that was excellent. What all did you get? Balsamic vinegar. A pomegranate. This whole thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then you got the, the best seller. And then the mixture. So no stickers. But we're back outside. I guess we'll head over this way real quick and just check out their outdoor space. We have wine check here where I think they hold the wines. So they hang on to your gifts. There are pets welcome, but they must be on leash and behave at all times. So Timber, what'd you say? The San Sebastian is same owners? Yes, yes. Same owners as this one. Did not know that. Look at this, they've got cornhole boards. Live music. Food and drink. Twisty treat. Twisty treat. Picnic tables. Let's look at their food. They've got grape stomping entrance over there. Oh, who would have thought? I thought we were done. What do we got? Burgers. Polynesian. Loaded fries. Beer and wine. Wow, try to show you a menu over here. I just can't, I don't want to cut in front of people, but they do have a menu. But you can get a ticket for the um, great stomping. 12 and under are free. It's, uh, what's it say? Adults, $5, children 12 and under free. That was what it was. So I can't get to the menu. There's people ordering right now, but um, they do have some food out here, just know. So literally they have a twisty treat right there. That's crazy. Live music. Let's go look at the grape stomping area. All right, so they stomp into the little pitchers down here. How cool is that? Wow, that's crazy. You can go wash your feet over here on this side, but look at all that. Oh, wow. Look at that. All right, now we can look at the menu. Wow. So here's your overview. I had no idea this was even over here. This is pretty cool, honestly. Didn't know you could come out here and have food and other things, stomp some grapes, but pretty neat. Now it is almost four o'clock, so they are starting to pack up. I'm sure they're almost done singing, but Glad we got to come out here. That was really neat. And then we got our little tickets where you go pick up your wine and stuff that you bought in the gift shop. So this is what we attended today. And then you take your little tickets right back up here and get your gifts. 
All right, we are heading back to the car. Wow, that was really fun, really awesome. So this was our officially first wine tasting video. We went to the Biltmore um, a few years back, did wine tasting there. We've done, huh? Oh yeah, Herman in Missouri. Done some there. We've done the distillery in St. Augustine, but this is the first one we've officially filmed. All right, that was our tour of the Lake Ridge Winery here in Claremont. That was fun. I had no idea what to expect though. We've been to some where you like have a group of like 10. Partnered up yeah, partnered up, table. sitting around a table trying it. This was nice because it was kind of like a taste and go. Yeah. Um, we ended up with some wine. That peach bellini was just so good. Holy cow, so good. Uh, looks like on the weekends, that's the uh, time to go. Live entertainment. I don't know if maybe during the week they do. I'm sure it's still open, but maybe they don't They don't have like the live music and things like that. I yeah, don't know. Maybe I don't on know. their Facebook page or something, they, or their website, they have more information. Yeah, maybe. But, I mean, you could go and essentially just go for free. Try some wines. But honestly, there's a reason those sweet ones are some of their best sellers. They were really good. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed this tour of Lake Ridge. And if you're in the area, definitely come out and check it out. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.